Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is MF Dividend Stocks. I'm your host, Joe. Let's get into this. Oh, that felt good. I did this video a few times, and that was one of my best intros, I think. Or not. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't fuck it up so you guys can hear this one. All right. Thank you guys so much. We're up to 11 subscribers now. I'm really pumped. We're getting about one a day. We need one today. Let you be that guy. The next video will be out. This is Sunday the 12th. We got 11 subscribers. We start on the first. We need that subscriber. Help me out. Next video will be out Tuesday. Then Sunday. No, Thursday. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. That's how the videos are coming out right now to further notice. I'm going to try to put them out around noon. So make sure you subscribe. Helps out a lot. All right. I, I want to put a lot of videos out, but I'm not trying to like... Um, there's so many videos I want to do, and I'm not trying to overwhelm the little subscriber base I got so they don't get frustrated and leave. So keep watching, man. I'm just trying to do three a week. That's the goal. I, at the beginning, I wanted to do like two or three a day, but I was like, nah. Nah, let me let me, let me me calm down a little bit. All right. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. This has been great. Next thing, somebody asked about the thumbnail make I use. This is a Snapper. Not Snapper, Snapper. I'll leave a link in the description. There's no affiliate links, nothing like that. It's just like what I use to make YouTube thumbnails. It's a, you can get three a month for free, or you can do 15 bucks. That's what I'm doing, so I can have more than three thumbnails a, uh, a three th thumbnails a month because I'm obviously going to use more than that. But there's ways to get around it. I like their tools. Like you just click on something, and you can look through a lot. Of, you can look at check it out for free. So if you're interested in something like this, you can go like here. This should be a base. You can change the text, everything like your Lego editor. You can all do. And then you can look down here, you can type stuff in, like if you type in like cash, because we're all about the cash, you got little symbols for cash, money, you can like hit this, I'm like, what? Now this is what we're going to use today, right there. Get that money. All right, so that's like nice and simple. You can kind of mess around with it, but it's an easy thumbnail maker. You could do, like I said, three a month, or you have to pay like 15 bucks. There's other things, I don't even know where it is, but I don't want to spend like too much time on that. just want to give you guys information, links in the description if you want it. Okay, Robinhood. We're just gonna look at power shares, S and P 500, right? If you're interested in Robinhood, the links in the description. It it is an affiliate. It's not like really affiliate link, but it kind of is. It gives me a free stock. You get a free stock. We kind of share. You get one, I get one. You get started up. You don't have to put any money in it. There's also a Weeble link. If you know Weeble, you get two free stocks. You get one for joining up with the link, and you get a second one if you put in a hundred bucks. I just did that over the weekend. Um, I looked on YouTube and found somebody that that um, was talking about Weeble. So I used that link to give him a free stock, and then I got a free stock. So I thought that was pretty cool. Just a random person. And um, that also works, but you get one free stock when you sign up. You get your second free stock when you um, deposit at least $100. So that's not bad. We'll be looking at Weeble a little bit, see how we like it and stuff uh, coming up soon. That could be sun uh, Tuesday's video, I think. So if you want to subscribe to that, keep your notifications on, or just check out the channel around noontime, Eastern Standard Time. Or just check the channel. It should be up by then, hopefully. All right, so um, power shares. Okay, this is my. This is going to be a little different because I know I'm first. First, I don't even know if this makes sense. Like Microsoft versus PowerShare, um, ETF versus uh, single individual stock. But this is what I was thinking. Microsoft I got for free, right? So with that being free, I was like, there's an opportunity for us to do something with that stock. Well, like, I know it's like, it's Microsoft, it's cool. But I'm like, I want to get as much dividend as I can. I haven't heard nobody talk about it this way, so I can be wrong. So don't follow anything I do if you're not sure. This is like one of those things where I'm not the greatest investor, I'm not the greatest person in the world. This just makes sense to me. And this research I looked at, it's like, why don't everybody just do it? I know there's got to be a downfall to it somewhere, but this is how I feel. All right, so let's cut to the chase, and I'm trying my hardest to get the videos a little bit shorter. If you like them long like this, they don't want me to rush, just leave a comment saying, like, the perfect size, how I talk. If not, say, hey, try to shorten it up some. Hey, it's okay what you're doing. Because I'm always worried about taking up too much of your time. All right, SPHD. I'm not going to tell you about the stock. It's an ETF. It got so many companies in it, and... Low dividend, uh, uh, high dividend, low velocity ETF, all right? We'll go over the individual stocks and the description if you want to. 
This is just my thing, all right? So each stock is about 15.8, and we just got, I just got a payout. Like, I missed this payout because I wasn't in yet. So, all right, 15.8. This stock gives out monthly, all right? So you see here, it does HPA dividends go up monthly. Um, see, now I'm going too far. This is how I waste time. It, it gives out monthly, if I'm not saying, if I'm not doing it right. I'm, it gives out monthly. I don't want to go get lost in this. All right, dividend growth for the last two years. That is not great. That's not a great scale. I'm thinking about jordandividends.com. There's other ones I want to sign up for, like a premium membership, but they're way expensive. Um, if you have any ideas on what a good one is that you can see growth rate and stuff, because that's a lot of the things that people hide. So I was thinking if I can pay for something like that, which is a lot, and I'm obviously not doing, there's no commercials on these things, so I'm not getting any money. And I'm trying to save up to put money into my stock. So it's like a hundred and something dollars to go the premium, for the premium membership here, 120 or something. So let me know if you, some of you guys use it, if it's really good. Um, I know Simply Safe Dividends seems like it's really good, but it's $400 a month, so we can't do that right now. I need to put that 400 in the stock market over putting it over there and without any extra YouTube ads coming in that's the decision all right so this is how I figured it out it's 1.89 a year right a dollar 89 so I got my calculator right I say it's about 15 we're just gonna do like rough ugly math all right divided by not 11 divided by 12 equals so it's like 15.7. That's about what it said, 15.8, right? So we got 15.8. Now, you're sitting that, all right? So 15 cents, just let's do 15 cents. Now we go over to Microsoft. Microsoft does 51 cents per share. A dividend, a payable in June, shareholders, all that crap. Go over to dividends.com. 16 years of growth, which is a lot better. Payout ratio is nice because it's 36%. Um, annual payout, $2.04. So we take all trusted calculator, right? I'm pretty sure you see where this is going already. So $2.04, and they divide it by quarterly. They get paid out quarterly. So you divide by four equals 51 cents. Okay. So Microsoft stock is worth 165, right? So you see where I'm going, right? It's pretty easy to figure this out. One, I'm trying not to lose you in math. I'll probably do a math you don't need. 114, right? And then we go over here. It's going to be um, divided by $33.24. Divided by 33 point 20, 20 fall equals almost five stocks. Now, say I got a little bit and we'll pay for those five stocks, all right? So now we got five stocks with an annual payout of. When out, was about 15.7 cents, right? 15.8, they said. Um, so we're gonna do 0.158 times five equals 79 cents a month, right? Times 12. I didn't do this, this is stuff I was thinking about in my head. $9.48. Okay, did I do that math right? So basically, like to do it quick, if it's 189 times five stocks equals 945. So I'm gonna get 945 a year off of um, the the SPHD, right? Well, I get this, the Microsoft one, and I'm only getting two dollars a year. So wouldn't it prove me? Prove is that a good word? Prove me. <laughs> Not even saying that right. Just just to put the the sell the Microsoft stock and to put it into the SPHD power sharing low velocity high dividend low velocity stock and obviously make more money. Where I'm holding that big stock, where I understand this is the downside. I understand. If you look at this stock for five years, right? I under I understand this. So we're down at 33 right now. So like say 42, 42, 37. 36 in 2016 so say it's around a 30 something dollar stock 38 maybe a 40 so it's around a 40 dollar stock now if we go to my profile and we look at microsoft 
for the one share right now. I got it at 148, it's 165 right now. If you do five years Microsoft, it's it's climbing. 143. And if it gets the highs it was just before the crash, 185. So probably not. Maybe here, 167. So it's about maxed out right now, say, on this growth chart, if you're lucky. <laughs> Which is like, you know, 163 over here, before this big spike, 162. So we're maxed out right here. Yes, it could go up, and the trend is going up real high. And they raise their dividends. Now, in the least of short term, when I'm trying to build this portfolio, even if this goes up to like 185 or 200 again, and my other one's gained 10 more dollars, this will say it'll go up to 200 dollars, right? Just say 200. 285 is a high. Just say 200. This is gonna go up 20 more dollars. If my 33 dollars go up to say 43, not that high, and I have five stocks, that'll be 50 more bucks. So that argument, like I know Microsoft can go even farther. And the SM, SP, HD, 500, ETF can probably not go too high than it is now. Like in the short term, within the next couple of years. Microsoft's a better overall stock for growth, say. Maybe the other one can get better. I'm thinking in the short term right now, getting $10 a year out of the SPHD when I'm just building up. And have a Microsoft that's only giving me $2 a year. Makes a lot more sense. But what's the downfall? What am I missing? Microsoft's a lot of um, 16 years of straight raising dividends. They will get up there. I'm getting my lower price now. 10 years from now, maybe Microsoft is paying 5, 10%. No, all right, that's a little crazy. See, the dividend yields like 10 or 5. So now they're paying like, I don't know. See, they're paying like instead of $2 a month, they're paying 4 but their stock's up to like 250 now. So like it doubled in money and say the other one didn't really move. So that was a risk. But I think in the short term, I'm gonna make more money. You guys let me know. I think that I'm somewhere in the middle of it, but I think since it's only one stock, it's not like I'm selling, you know, 10 or 20 stocks, the 100 stocks to try to make this move. I think in the short term, it can help me compound interest a lot more. You guys let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the like button, subscribe before I lose my mind today, because I don't know if I'm talking to myself in circles, or should I just keep the Microsoft stock? You got till tomorrow, 24 hours. Let's go.